My check one, two, three. <clears throat> Welcome back, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen. We're in the Bench Rover Studios. We are. You are yeah, the bench. We're back with the boys. Shit. What's going on, guys? How'd you get in there? A little um, depressed. I'm a little fucked up. But today we have a special guest. Finally, an actual, quote unquote, an actual fan of the team that I hate the most. But I'll let him introduce himself. My man, go ahead. <laughs> it's fucked up because Danny was here and he said he was a quote unquote <laughs> He's fan. <a> <laughs> What's up, everyone? My name is Josue Hernandez. Um, I'm a good friend of everybody here. Marco, Edgar, Eric, Ricky. I'm back. You Go guys ahead, may not right. see him too often because he's usually playing on the field. I think uh, you have <laughs> he's a so back injury. Through. He's the only one that actually plays. He's the one that actually plays. <laughs> yeah. So if he's so, so off the field to come sit with us on the bench today. Mm. How's it feel to be on the bench? How's the view from this side? Uh, I don't know. Sitting next to you kind of makes me <laughs> want to get on the field. Yeah, go fuck yourself. I mean, yeah, that's, that's everybody's same response. So, yeah. But yeah, tell us about yourself, who your teams, who you support. Uh, that way, everybody has a feeling for well, the bench you're about to give us. I support three teams um, Real Madrid always. Um, Forever. Something that I could agree on with two of these guys here. Um, I also support the New York Red Bulls. Oh, dude. New York is red. Sorry, Marco. It's Jersey. Shut up. Um, and the last team is Tottenham Hotspurs. So, <gasps> so yeah, those are my three teams that I support. Uh, love them, love them to death. Support them to all my so heart. Today's episode, obviously, we got Josue here. We're gonna do a little banter back and forth, but I'm gonna start off with pretty much all the games that happened across the leagues this weekend. Bundesliga got crazy. Premier League things are heating up with a lot. Um. The Liga Portuguesa, I don't know how it's called. What's it called? Liga Portuguesa? Liga Nos? Portugal? I don't know. But Actually like that. NOS, that's what I can say. Whatever it may be. We'll cover that. Uh, the big Porto Benfica game. And then, in overtime, we'll get into some Champions League action. Go, go over Edgar's best 11. Marco's Burro of the Week. <laughs> and Ricky's Word of the Day will be given to you guys at a later date. I can't drink no more, dude. You shouldn't. I can't drink no more. <laughs> we'll, we'll drink again. It's nah, like you make up, gonna, you make up for it now. in one night. In one night, all the drinking you have enough for two months, you make up on it in one I, night. I, I Get them on that. No, the thing is, the, la- the last... Where's it, Edgar, bro? The last time for I real? actually got drunk drunk was, I think, for your wedding. God damn. So you were drunk drunk last night? I was pretty fucked up last night. Yo, yeah, he <laughs> was pretty fucked up. But not, wedding, not but... fucked up for like blackout drunk, but I was like, I was just like, had a lot, had a lot of shots, a lot of mixed drinks. Damn. So I was, I was definitely feeling nah, so it. So you, you, you look good though, and you know you should be proud of yourself. <laughs> no, I'm not proud of myself. I'm, I don't want, I'm feeling shit. The right only now. one that gets proud of himself when he's I, up I all over his head guard. Yeah, I woke up with like, the meanest dry mouth and like just felt like shit. I don't Have know. you thrown up yet? I threw up last night. Oh, okay. Damn. Was right. it inside huh? a car? Huh? Was it inside a car? No, no, no. We just got dropped off, and then um, I got the cold air. It just. Fucked me up. Oh, so I was yeah. trying to get into the house. So I didn't have my keys. But the, we have a code to the garage. And I forgot what it was. Because I was so drunk. Mm-hmm. And I'm putting it in. And then Raquel's like freezing her ass off. I'm like, I don't know what to do. I called him at four in the morning trying to get the code. And then the cold, I, I'm getting fucked up. And then it's just like, it wasn't like really throw up. It was just I had drank Gatorade. It just came right back up. <laughs> so it was, it's not all over like the keypad though, right? It wasn't like no, no, it was, it was in the yeah, snow, so the snow was a little oh. blue. So. <laughs> <laughs> and my parents asked, what the hell's going on there?" Is your car leaking antifreeze again? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> sure. <laughs> That's a better explanation than that. So, Prem, Agar, what are we kicking off with? All right, we just watched the game. It was a uh, Merseyside derby. Everton versus Liverpool. It was a very, very good game. You watched it with me, Eric, for mm-hmm. the most part. Did you enjoy it? I did. It was, right? It was a good game. It, it was it was it was a bad game but good at the same time, if you get what I'm saying. It was technically horrible. Yes. It was emotionally invigorating. Good. Yes, yeah, yeah. Damn, nice. Yeah. Where to put it? Well, you usually have these words, but you're drunk, so <laughs> I gotta fill in. <laughs> Coming off the bench, bro. <laughs> no, I'm not. I'll be here. But uh that's how it felt. I mean, you saw Everton step it up in this game. They played very, very well. And the last time they played this well was when we beat them at Anfield out of, you know, straight up luck. They had a great game last time at Anfield, and today they had a great game too. Lots of possibilities for them to score. Allison came up with like three or four good saves, I would say. Yeah, I mean, they're, they're comfortable saves. You should have gotten them. Comfortable? Yeah. should have gotten them, but yeah. he got them. He got them. And uh, Pickford came up with the biggest save of the game. The Salah? The Salah one. one on it one. was just one-on-one. On one. I mean... Nah, but the man of the match was Keane. 
Kane, Keane, Kane. Keane, Keane. Keane. Michael is. Keane for uh, Everton, the center back. He's, the guy put in work. Holy he shit. He shut everything out. Uh, fucking A, man. I, I don't know how he did it. And he's, he gave the interview afterwards. He's like, listen, they're a good team. We know where we are. And uh, we had to do what we had to do. We got the result today. It's on them, whatever happens to them. But we got what we did what we had to do. And I, I can't blame him for that. But I said it on the last pod. If we can't beat Everton, then I could see us not winning the league because this is a team you have to beat. No, 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 you, say, you say we don't deserve to win the league. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> no, nah, but I saw your frustration. And I mean, as much as I enjoyed watching it, I still felt bad for you. Oh, thanks. But I, I, saw, I, still I, I, still drunk. I still enjoyed it. I still enjoyed it. I was like, yes. He's still yeah. drunk. You would never say that's over. No, he nah, dude, I, again, like I, I look at it kind of like in our, in our shoes, you know, not to bring it back to any you know any of our teams, but it's just like when you're ex- when you're like doing so well, and you're almost at the finish line, but then they just they just, trip. just keep tripping. Like yeah, man, keep slipping. No, there was no slipping in this game. <laughs> <laughs> Allison slipped, but it didn't cause anything, so we're good. Yeah, it's just I I told you guys we're not. Everybody says you guys are doing great. You're top of the league. No, we're not clicking. Yeah. We haven't been clicking for months now. Mo, Firmino, Mane, they have their little good runs for like two games maybe, and then it falls off. It hasn't been that constant, smooth, excellent, creative plays where the other teams are just holding on to their life. It's more like we've gotten results, and when we haven't gotten results, we've tied because our defense is very, very good. So what do you what do you guys think? Um, obviously we have a different perspective, but why do you think Liverpool are having these bad form, well, for, run the forms, former runs, run the forms? Yeah, we get it. Yeah, <laughs> you know what I mean. Let's be honest. Last season, Mo had a peak. He hit his peak. Now everybody's catering and sort of trying to defend him, and now he's not reaching that peak again, right? But we. Everybody said he's the real thing. He's not the real thing. I think that was towards the beginning of the season when he you can tell. That he wasn't doing what he was supposed to. Now I don't think anybody needs to defend him because we already realized that he's not going to be what he was last season. And even though he's not, he's still up in the top three as goal uh, goal mm-hmm. scorers. Yeah, yeah. But top two, top, top two, top two. Well, I I, don't, I didn't see the last uh, sets, but he's still scoring the goal. It's just that it's not consistent. He scores three, and then he didn't score for like four games. And that's the that's the issue. And that's what I'm saying. Like that's what every player on every. The three attacking players on the team, that's what they have to do. We don't have midfielders to score. So you're saying that if the three, the front three don't, don't, don't click, then that's it. That's it, yeah. Because our midfielders will score. James Milner won't score too often. Henderson won't score. Shakiri hasn't been on. Keita don't score. The one who scored was Chambo, and he's just getting back to the U23s yeah. right now. Yeah. So. Now, so, I mean, you're, you being a Spurs fan, you know, you need Liverpool to keep dropping points to keep the, the race going. Do you think this bad form there is going to continue, or are they going to pick things up? Because I mean, well, in the past, was it four games they've dropped? In the past nine games, they dropped eleven points. I think it was. Yeah, yeah. With all the draws, right? Yeah, yeah, with so many draws, that's that's what's happened. Well, my opinion, um, I think it's just this, uh, the second half of the season. You know, everybody played the first half of the season. You know, January kicked up, and that's when Liverpool started losing their form. That's when Man City, Spurs, they started catching up to them on points, and now Man City's on top. Um, I think it's just the second half of the season where all these teams, you know, fighting to try to get out of regulation, to stay away from regulation, to qualify for the Champions League, and to be up there in the top four. Um, That's my personal opinion of why I think the second half of the season is the the reason why Liverpool is not doing as well, as well as Spurs. And the only team that actually is in form and stays in form is Man City. Um, And a good example is United. First half of the season, they were shit. They they pretty much bombed every game or some games. And then once Mourinho left and Sokshar came in, um, that was at the beginning of the season they started kicking up and look where they're now fourth other than eighth place of what they were before fighting teams like uh burnley uh you know wolves with due respect because burnley and wolves did they did beat uh spurs yeah i think it was just the second half of the season all these teams they, they're deciding to kick up because they want to be up there and to uh, get a different result from the fixture that they had before they want to either do better or um you know come out on top from if they had a defeat or a draw. That's just my personal opinion. So basically you're saying that it doesn't really matter what happens in the first half of the season. What really counts is what's going to happen in the second. And if you're I in form so. in the second half 
and you're consistent in the second half, you can basically make the points that all the let's call quote unquote big teams are not making and just make you make your way up. Well, you I, the first half of the season is always important, of course, because you always want to you know start off the season strong, be up there, know the teams who they're up against, and it's just the second half of the season is a little bit more crucial because this is when things start getting more hectic, games are getting more harder uh you got incoming transfers from from the january transfer window of course and you know new coaches new tactics all this kind of stuff because you actually get to see from the experience of the first game that you played with certain teams so that's why i think the first half of the season is important second half is just a little bit more crucial that's it that's what I mean. you gotta dig deep you know and finish on the season, the season strong which it's kind of hard to do for a lot of teams um especially after picking up injuries Still got Champions League football, you got Europa football, whatever it may be. Still have a lot of football going on. So, yeah, I, I could definitely see what you're saying. Right? <laughs>